In week two, one of the exercises that we have the guys do, it's kind of planning out the future life without pornography. And I think in, in a time where you're kind of planning out what you want out of life and the man that you're trying to become, I think it's important to be aligned with, with God and, 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 and in those moments and have him with you there. So we use the fasting specifically in the week two for that purpose, spiritual connection, spiritual clothing, and being closer to the Father. I also believe that that fasting is a tool that can be used to develop willpower and discipline. Just like I told you with, with making certain choices in, in what you want to eat. Same thing applies. When you're forced to go 48 hours or when you're asked to and you choose to go 48 hours without food, you will experience uh, a little bit of hunger. Not like chew my arm off, like can't can't deal with it. But there's going to be moments. And I think what you realize when, when you understand more about nutrition and kind of how the brain works and whatnot, and I've interviewed some psychologists who actually uh, works with people breaking binge eating, um, and we looked at the brain and whatnot and kind of how the brain fires with certain foods is very similar to kind of the dopamine responses that you get with uh, with porn. So many times what we, what we think is hunger is is really just your brain is seeking kind of a pleasure uh, or, or a hit of dopamine. But what you learn through fasting is you learn how to quickly just say no and suppress that. And you'll realize that that feeling is only going to be short lived. The minute you suppress and you don't feed into it, and you don't give into it, and you learn to take your brain somewhere else, you take your thoughts somewhere else, because that feeling went away. So later on in the program, when you're dealing with triggers, when you're dealing with urges, you realize those aren't real things. Like you don't need a sexual release. Like it's something, there's something neurological, there's something that's kind of sitting behind the brain, it's calling for something. The feeling is very similar. So you learn to suppress it over here. So you can then use that as a tool later on to suppress it from, from the urge or pull to porn. Yeah, that's, that's the second reason is it helps you, you know, develop discipline. And once you're in, when you make those choices, it's acknowledging what you're doing to reinforce the proper uh, behavior patterns. Um, and then thirdly, I had Dave Asprey on on the show. I don't know if you're familiar with him. He's oh yeah, of Bulletproof Coffee. Uh, yeah, yeah. An incredible book called called Fast This Way. He shared this with me. Is is willpower is nothing more than having the necessary energy to make the proper choice when faced with a difficult decision. So we realize mm -hmm. we have an energy bank of like decisions. You can only make a certain amount of decisions throughout the day. This is where decision fatigue comes into play. It's a real real thing. This is why I think it's important to have structure in your day. It's important to have set routines that you do, so you don't have to make choices. So you can leave that that energy to make the really important decisions, whether it's centered around your company, your family, whatever, wherever season you are in life. But realizing that a lot of guys struggle with pornography late into the evening due to lack of willpower because they've used up all their energy because they made all the decisions throughout the day. But if every time you eat, A, for one, that's a choice and decision you have to make. What food am I going to eat? But also the, the, the processing of food takes energy. It literally takes neurons to process the food. Like your body is using energy. This is why fasting is a hack and tool for longevity because because we're all working on a time clock and every time you consume something food wise, your body's having to process that. And it's like, it's, it's draining, draining the tank. So if we can learn to fast early and in the morning, saving up that energy. So later in the evening, when faced with those difficult decisions, we have the necessary energy to make the proper choices. Mm, um, and then there's good. some other really cool things that Dave talked about, you know, with like when you when you learn to fast, kind of some of your other senses get elevated so you get a better sense of physical awareness, a better sense of visual, spatial awareness is as well. I think that just helps guys in kind of some of their decision making as well.